navigate the ever-changing landscape of love, loss, and grief. Literally, in a rise, a simple story. Is it better to weather the seasons together? Arise has simple graphics to match its simple story. The environment and smattering of creatures have a sculpted look that feels like a balance between polygons and claymation. It's a fairly common look in indie games, but it's no less attractive here. The sunshine really makes the colors pop, and the dullness of some of the settings sets a somber tone when appropriate. Unfortunately, later levels look very dark, and even smoky, making much of the environment hard to see, in turn making progression and exploration more difficult. Arise, A Simple Story is a 3D platformer with a slight time manipulation mechanic. You progress through levels running, jumping, climbing, or swinging from specific objects while sliding time backward and forward to manipulate the environment. Adjusting time will do different things based on the environment of the level, like making ledges reachable when snow piles up, or raising and lowering platforms as a rock bridge crumbles. This time manipulation only applies to the environment, so you won't be rewinding to retry a jump or anything like that. The main character is controlled by the left analog stick, while the right stick is used to adjust the time. The game reminds you that you can also control the camera with the right stick, but you can really only adjust it slightly up and down, which is not enough for it to be helpful. You can also hold a button to freeze time, which is helpful as time can move forward on its own when you are not adjusting it. Each level is a linear obstacle course that requires you to find the correct point in time where the environment will allow you to progress. It can occasionally feel like a puzzle, but it's never difficult, and you're only ever adjusting time by a few seconds. The game does encourage exploration to find collectible memory fragments, which fill in the gaps of the story. Finding and collecting all of these can increase the length of the game and occasionally make it more difficult, but there doesn't seem to be a logic to the occasional branching path that brings you to the farther away collectibles. Most of the time, it was impossible to determine if the path we chose was guiding us to a collectible or to the end of the level, and by the time we knew for sure, the game stopped us from being able to backtrack and pick up any collectibles we missed. You're not even able to replay levels after you've completed them to find the rest of the collectibles. We liked going off the expected path in the rare occasion we could identify an optional one, but it tended to break the pacing and mood of the level. Sometimes the music would swell as you move forward, but then completely stop when you went far enough down a path toward a collectible. Fortunately, the diversity of environments and challenges between the levels kept even the straightest paths interesting. We were impressed by the creative use of the time manipulation to affect each environment, like how it moved the sun across the sky in one level to change the direction of sunflowers in a field, or how we had to time our progress with flashes of lightning in another level. Although the game is slow-paced, it sprinkles in some thrills when you have to outrun shadowy figures, fire, or the cold. Co-op gameplay in Arise is asymmetric, where player 1 controls the actions of the main character, and player 2 controls the flow of time. While player 1 can walk, jump, and climb, player 2 is limited to moving the right analog stick to the left or right, and occasionally holding down a button to freeze time. This is very much a player and assistant setup, where player 1 will be doing most of the work when they're not waiting for player 2 to adjust the timeline slightly. Player 2 still has to pay attention, and they'll be doing their one task a lot, but it's always in service of helping player 1 progress. Imagine a platformer that requires one player to place all the platforms for the other to jump and climb to, and you're on your way to imagining a rise. The game is simple to begin with, and is potentially made easier with an attentive partner anticipating the needs of player one. There's some fun in puzzling out the correct path together in the rare moments of slight complexity, but platforming in the game can cause a shared frustration as the character is relatively slow and heavy, and a failed jump results in both players repeating steps to progress. Levels are short and very accessible for short play sessions. Both players have the power to pause, and co-op is easy to drop in and out of. It's not a spoiler to say that your character starts off dead, and the levels you play through are representations of important moments of his life. There's no dialogue, but the details and emotional beats are effectively conveyed through a mix of music, rock formations suggesting the scene, and still images that act as collectibles to fill in the gaps. The story is a double-edged sword, though. As the title suggests, it is the focus of the game, but hiding a lot of it behind collectibles makes some parts of the story much more abstract if you aren't paying close attention. Again, these collectibles can be hard to find due to the branching structure of the levels and the inability to backtrack or even replay them. Some levels gave us plenty of information to understand what was happening in the character's life at that time, while others left us only able to guess. We didn't experience any bugs, crashes, or even slowdown while playing. 
the game ran smoothly from start to finish. Arise, A Simple Story isn't a bad game, but it lives up to the name as far as gameplay is concerned. There's no real challenge to the game, and it rarely makes interesting use of its mechanics. As a co-op game, it's possibly even less interesting, as the mechanics are split in half, further emphasizing their simplicity. The story isn't anything new, but it has its moments, even though it's sometimes frustrating to fill in the gaps. The varied look of the levels is the real standout. If you're interested in a short, simple, laid-back game with a touch of emotion, and you don't mind the asymmetric co-op, this is one we'd recommend.